Hi, my name is Kevin Mann. I shot a man in Reno once just to watch him die. What am I like? A couple of things you should know about me, as you can no doubt tell from staring at me as you are. And I'm a very stylish man. I call this look Hawaiian child molester. <laughs> very stylish man, very sexy man, ladies. Yes, very powerful man. All of these facts, the facts that I'm a sexy, stylish, powerful man, I believe they're augmented by the fact that I'm a very thrifty man. You see, you see a vision of style before you, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm wearing trousers that cost but one British pound. One pound trousers. 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 Sir, would you care to feel the quality of the one pound? Careful, those are my one pound goonies. <laughs> Sir, would you care to feel the quality of the one pound trousers? Sir, can you confirm the quality of the one pound? Very yeah, good quality one pound trousers. You see, more than thrifty, more than sexy man, more than a, a powerful man, more than a sexy man, the ladies love a thrifty man. Ooh, Kevin, they say. You can drive a hard bargain into my fanny. And if by hard bargain you mean classic Venus, then maybe. I've got a lot of things going. Okay, so another thing we need to know about me is uh, I'm, a, I'm a student, even though I look ancient, I'm only 24. I'm a student, but I'm, I'm a PhD student. I'm also known as a postdoctoral student or, or a fourth level postgraduate researcher, also known as a massive prick. <laughs> and when you're doing a PhD, it means you've devoted your life to a certain subject area for the rest of your life. And uh, my PhD is in cats. <laughs> those, those little things that go meow. And uh, I have to tell people that my formal title at the University of Lincoln is Kevin Mann, Master of Research, Feline Friends Cat Welfare Scholar. Which is appropriate, because I do get quite a lot of pussy in Lincoln. <laughs> and, uh, everyone expects you to do the old PhD for noble reasons, academics and all that. I've got less noble reasons than that. The first reason I'm doing a PhD is I have it on good authority that if I go to the job centre in a few years' time with my PhD, I'll get an extra ten pounds. You know, it took you a little bit longer, but here we go, another unemployed graduate of the University of Lincoln. Let's not book a trend here. Second reason is, my father is a GP, and uh, I'm looking forward to family occasions going, No, Dr. Mann's my father. I'm Dr. Mann. <laughs> and then, of course, the final reason, the best reason of all, is that when a place like this, a stylish, classy affair, someone is sipping Bollinger champagne, takes a little bit of caviar and they start to choke and they'll be like, is there a doctor in the house? And I'll be like, you bet your sweet ass there is. <laughs> Can you help my husband? Is he a cat? <laughs> yes, he is. Well, actually, I'm not a vet, so, you know, more welcome. <laughs> As you probably know, I've guessed from my sexual accent and my sovereign death. Uh, yes, I am Irish. Uh, yeah, I know, we got any Irish in the room here tonight? <laughs> All right, yeah, how about that famine? It was mental. <laughs> I get all the stereotypes in Lincoln, you know. Ooh, you Irish, you love a good time, which we obviously proved in the 70s during the Troubles. Or, uh, ooh, you Irish, you love peanuts, which makes no sense. Or, uh, the great one I got, a gentleman turned to me one day, and I didn't even know his name at this point. He turned around very casually and said, Sir, I can't help but noticing you're Irish. And could you tell me, what's the deal with the IRA? What's the, what's the deal with the IRA? Like they're an obscure band from the 60s. <laughs> they never achieved that level of critical acclaim that the Stones did. But they're, they're, they come back. Justin Lee Collins, he's, he's working as They're all going to get back together. Jerry Adams and the gang to reunite for a Channel 4 special. Presumably to blow up Parliament. And uh, of course, uh, another thing you may have noticed is the fact that uh, I, I resemble quite a few things. I get a, a, lot of, a lot of commentary walking by the streets. First one I get quite a bit is Jerry Adams, and the one I get is Jim Royal. Uh, a gentleman saw me wearing this shirt the other day, and he said, Hey man, nice shirt. Live in la vida loca. <laughs> a man came up to me uh, on the way here in Nottingham, and he said, Hey Stephen Hawking. <laughs> what was it about me just walking across there that elicited that response? I may, I may never know. 